You've yet to file your taxes. The deadline is getting closer, and this year you may see a few changes, especially regarding how much money you might or might not get back. To on your side's Keelan Berrien joins us in the newsroom now with more. Keelan? Hey, uh, Dave. You know, tax preparers tell me that some folks are getting a little bit back in their refunds if they're getting anything at all. And as you can imagine, this dates back to the COVID-19 pandemic. When you're expecting, we'll say, like a $1,500 refund, you're only getting $100. Mm. The day has nearly come upon us. Tax day. Monday marks the last day to file your 2023 tax return. And tax preparer Chris Fabio and what EG Tax was just telling me. Refunds got a lot smaller or they ended up owing this year. The government adjusted your federal withholding to give people more money in their paychecks without really feeling a pinch in their wallet. The change happened during the pandemic when inflation was really starting to hit us. The problem is electronic pay stubs. Nobody looks at their pay stubs anymore to adjust your withholdings. You probably are going to have to tell them each paycheck take out $10 extra, $20 extra. And if you don't file your taxes, the government can keep it. Fabian says he's seen some filings over the course of seven years, total up to $20,000. But get this. If you owe them money, they will keep that year open forever and keep adding interest and penalties till it's paid off. You can file for an extension, and if approved, it would give you until October 15th to file. But Fabian says it only delays paperwork. Plus, if you think you already owe the IRS, payments have to be complete while filing for that extension. Or they may deem that extension null and void. And so if you file it in June, that $1,000 now has a 15% penalty. And if you want to get that extension, Fabian says to just mail in the federal 4868 form along with the New York State IT37. Or you can always go down to the EG tax office. Fabian says they will be there all day Monday helping anyone who comes in. On your side in the newsroom, Keelan Berry in Channel 2 News.